Happy Facebook Live time. I am Melissa Kerman with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and welcome to uh, my episode of Treehouse TV. Uh, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and coming up on my 18 year anniversary, which is incredible, very exciting. Um, I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> I love paper crafting and if you've ever watched me, you know that. <laughs> um, so welcome. Uh, as people join in, whether you're live or on the replay, I'm so glad to see people arriving. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Jeanette. Um, it says, and two others. <laughs> okay. Hi, Andrea, <laughs> Gail, Linda. Wonderful. So glad to see people arriving. So I've got some fun tonight, as always. Um, and one of the new things I'm going to do tonight, hi, Debbie, <laughs> is I have a giveaway and at the very end I'm also going to do a, a sneak peek of something. Not going to tell you what it is. Hi MJ. <laughs> Yay, so fun to see people's names on the screen. So um, that's some of the fun for tonight. I do have a project of course and um, some updates as well. Hi Jennifer. Hi Christy. Yay. <laughs> tell us where you're from if you feel so inclined. I know sometimes I, or often I ask that um, but it's easy to forget. So yay, Sharon. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Hi, Nina. Yay. So fun. All right. So, um, uh, trying to keep the updates quick if I possibly can. Um, so there's a few things I wanted to mention tonight. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about my technique classes. I feel like I'm always talking about my technique classes. <laughs> And I decided that part of the reason for that is that they're one of my favorite things, right? To do, to share. Um, and so, especially given right now, because I've got a new class going live and it's been the uh, open window for people to sign up for clubs and subscriptions. Now, technically that ended yesterday, but I'm, uh, I technically, if somebody were to sign up right now for either subscription or club, you could still do that because tomorrow is the day that I'm going to start cutting kits and then I'll be mailing them on Saturday. So if somebody signed up now, you could still do that. Um, all the other options, uh, the, the options that will be available available after um, tomorrow <laughs> or after tonight I should say um, are all the electronic options. Um, hi Karen. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss names as people went by. But um, anyway, so uh, just um, that's just my little two cents there. If you're still interested in club, which is product based option with free product or subscription, which is a fee based option, uh, those are available for just a tiny little bit more time. <laughs> um, Let's see what else. Um, and as you guys uh, know, I said it last week, if you were listening, um, that I'm now offering um, a online live event for this technique class that's coming up and I'm doing it a slightly different way. So instead of being an edited video, it's going to be live and I'm super excited about it because hopefully we'll get to interact with people and my vision is that we'll have albums on my Facebook page and people will contribute and we'll do some incentives for sharing and all that good stuff. So uh, it should be lots of fun. Um, and that option is only $10 and I made it so inexpensive in the hopes that more people would sign up because my goal is really to sort of foster a community of sharing um, of techniques and uh, hopefully I'll provide you some lots of inspiration um, for sharing there. So um, I do need to say in my newsletter that I sent out yesterday, I have since learned there was a bad link. So if you tried to sign up for that online live event, you might have gotten a 404 window. That's what it's like. It's an error. <laughs> so the link wasn't bad everywhere. It's not bad on my website. If you go to the uh, tutorials and classes uh, tab and look there, the, um, the link that's on the classes available now page is a good one. Um, so I hope that's not a deterrent. If you get confused, please let me know. I'm happy to always happy to help. Um, that's what happened with the person who let me know that they couldn't use the link. <laughs> um, hey Gwen. Hi Bonnie. Okay. So, um, let's see what else. Um, celebration is almost come is coming to an end. There's 10 days left. I can't even believe it. As you guys know, it's only two months this time instead of three. So it ends February 28th. And that means, you know, if you want those freebies with each $50 you spend, you got to do it now, <laughs> do it soon. Um, and, uh, there's also of course a benefit when you are, um, the hostess. So if your party gets to 300, you get a free set set and there's a starter kit special right now, um, which I've also been talking about. Now, one of the things I'm going to feature in today's project 
is the designer paper that is the free gift that you get when you buy the starter kit. So I'm going to be showing, you know, all of that lovely paper and then um, using two of the pieces of the many pieces. Hi, Laura Lee, <laughs> um, on uh, the project I'm sharing today. Um, if you are not familiar with the starter kit is basically it's $99 you get $125 worth of products so you get that free product in there and then with the starter kit special you get 200 sheets of designer series paper at a value of $57.50 there's five packs of 40 pieces of six by six paper did you follow that <laughs> you'll see the paper shortly so you'll know what I'm talking about um, so it's a great deal and lots of great benefits of course and if you join my chicks team you get technique classes for free the electronic classes um, and you get my Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle every month for free. A great community of super creative, fun, wonderful women. <laughs> Many who are on here. Hi, Laura Lee <laughs> and Kathleen. Those are the names that flash by that I remember. <laughs> Team members, um, just wonderful uh, women. Uh, so that's just a little bit about the starter kit. What else? Um, oh, and the, the free technique classes, by the way, if you paid for what they're getting, what tech, tem, uh, team members get for free, it's $30 for an electronic class. So over the course of a year with six classes, that's $180 value. So that's pretty darn cool, I think. <laughs> I think my team members like it. So that's a good thing. Um, okay, what else? Okay, so I want you to stay to the end because I do have this sneak peek I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm going to be sneaky in my sneak peek, um, but uh, sit tight and hang out with me. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing some giveaways. Okay, so what do I want to tell you about giveaways? So one of the things I've realized is I am not asking and inviting you all to share this video and tag people nearly enough. <laughs> And my goal, of course, as a business is to grow. And when you share with your friends, when you tag people, um, that's the way that, you know, sort of spread the word. So it um, allows me to get some exponential exposure. So if you're watching on Facebook, of course, you can click the share button. If you're watching, if you're, um, and you can tag a friend here. So you just make a comment, write their name in. And if they're a friend, they're going to um, pop up and then they'll know. They'll say, hey. I got something that I need to watch because so-and-so says I need to. <laughs> um, and if you're on YouTube, you can um, uh, you can share um, my video to Pinterest or to um, what? Where else? <laughs> to Facebook if you're on YouTube, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's lots of ways. And even on my website, um, this is just another way. There is um, on the sidebar. There's little buttons you can click to share on Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter. So anyway, I'm going to invite you, ask you to share, and that's going to be the basis for my giveaway. So if you post on here that you shared, if I see that you shared. Um, then you're going to get one entry into my drawing and you probably want to know what I'm giving you. Hold tight. I'm going to tell you. Um, and if you tag somebody, you'll get another share. You'll get another um, entry into the drawing. And, um, and I'll be t keeping track of those here on the Facebook group. And then um, I'll pay attention to it on, on YouTube as well. Although it's, um, it's a little bit harder because the tagging that, you know, you can't tag, of course. Um, so there, if you, if you share on YouTube, you just need to leave a comment, say you shared where you shared it. So um, that's the, the tiddly bit. So here's the thing that I'm giving away and I hope you guys will be excited about it and it's not going to be a surprise you're gonna be like oh yeah of course she's giving that away so um, I've decided I'm gonna give away five of five passes to the online live technique class the um, playing with rubbing alcohol technique class on the 26th of February so what's that what that's gonna give you it's normally ten dollars right yay Laura Lee shared <laughs> thank you Laura Lee um, uh, let's see. So um, you'll get access to the private Facebook group for uh, approximately a, a month or five weeks or so. The video uh, live class will be on that Facebook group. You'll get access, of course, to the albums. Of course, it's a new page, so there won't be anything in them quite yet. But you'll see the sharing that other people share um, of the technique that we play with. Um, and let's see what else. Um, and if you if you can't attend the live on Friday the 26th, it's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can always go back and watch the replay. So um, my goal is to create this amazing, awesome community of fellow technique lovers. And I know many of you, probably most of you, are out there. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be watching me. Um, so I'm giving away five passes to that class. So. Um, uh, I hope you'll share wildly, tag people wildly, 
<laughs> um, and um, and there'll be five lucky winners. Now I'm going to allow some time for people to um, to do that sharing. Uh, so even if you're watching the replay here on Facebook, you'll be able to do that. And I'm going to draw on Monday. So I usually post this video to YouTube on Saturday. So I want to give people who, who watch on YouTube a chance to share as well. So on Monday, I'll do the drawing. Now, as far as the technique class is concerned, people who've already registered and signed up, they've already gotten their supply list so they can start planning and preparing. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to be sending an email to those people, team members included, who are signed up for the, um, the technique classes, um, a link to um, the Facebook group so they can join if they want to watch in Facebook um, and I recommend highly that you join through Facebook if you can and then I'm also going to have a zoom link so some if people want to participate through zoom and actually let me see your face which I would love that would be so awesome <laughs> and it's interactive in a different kind of way um, that would be great so I'll have both options there you can either join in on zoom or you can watch on Facebook and I know some people don't do zoom so um, it will be streamed to the Facebook page at the same time 7 p.m. Eastern Standard time on the 26th so that's kind of the that's kind of the gist so I see lots of people are sharing uh, bits here and there so how do you tag Laura Lee says so in a comment you just type in the name of somebody that you're friends with on Facebook and uh, their name will pop up and then just post the comment with their name in it and they will then know that you tagged them so it's pretty simple um, hopefully that um, makes sense. Uh, if somebody else knows a different way, let me know. <laughs> Share it here because if, if Laura Lee has that question, other people might as well. Um, and um, anyway, so, so there you go. Five of those classes I'm giving away, the online live um, option only. Okay, so um, where else? What else do we need to talk about? Got to go to my list here. Um, okay, so that was the main, that was pretty much it for my announcements. So um, let's get started with the project. So um, I have a fairly simple project today and it was inspired by one of my Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle design team members. That is such a mouthful, right? Um, oh, you tagged Claudia. How wonderful, Peggy. Good to see you here. <laughs> Good to see you here, Peggy. Um, so uh, anyway, the layout was inspired by um, Patty Dolan, who's one of my design team members for Simple Sweet Stampers. I didn't make the card exactly as hers, but I had seen this kind of general layout, so I kind of adapted it to my own needs. I'm using the Vine Design stamp set, and as I mentioned, the celebration paper um, uh, that is what demonstrators get when they join, when people buy the starter kit. So. Without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera down. I'm going to show you all this luscious, wonderful paper. <laughs> I wish I could have made one card with each of these pages, but it's a lot of pages, so you'll understand why that didn't happen as soon as I show it to you. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to flip the camera and just face you guys down to my workspace. Okay, so here is just some of this lovely, luscious paper. Um, this is the paper that, of course, as I said, that you'll get free um, with your starter kit um, if you join uh, be be before or by, I should say, February 28th. So let me know if you ever have any questions. There's lots of information on my website. Um, so you're getting um, these patterns that are going to be brand new in the new annual catalog, which goes live at the beginning of May. So this is not available, available for purchase yet, but it will be when that annual catalog goes live. And these patterns are, there's four patterns, so I'm showing you the front and the back. This is one half of the Regal's uh, paper. So you can see it's just gorgeous paper. Um, this is the other half of the set of colors that is the Regal's. Um, and the patterns are really neutral, easy to work with, um, and that's part of why I wanted to play with them to show their versatility. Now I've shown the bolds, the bold colors at um, uh, points in the past when I've been talking about this offer. So I'm just going to quickly show you those. And then there are actually five packs all together, right? So what you're getting when you um, buy the starter kit is five sets of 40 sheets of designer paper. So this is actually the neutrals. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't have them fanned out in exactly the same way, but you can really get a sense for all those lovely colors in there. So just super easy to work with kind of paper. Here's the subtles. 
So comment and let me know. I'm just curious. Um, when I first joined Stampin' Up, uh, you know, I had to pick a color group to work within. That's at least what my demonstrator told me to do. And I had one color group that I was that I particularly thought would be useful, and I was drawn to. So we got our subtles, our regals. I showed you the bolds, the neutrals, and of course this is the in color. So this is the fifth set of 40. So these are the 20, 20, 20, 22 in colors. Um, the Magenta Madis, B Madness, Bumblebee, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, and Misty Moonlight. So there are those colors. Anyway, aren't those beautiful? I just love that sumptuous paper. How can you go wrong with that, right? So I'm only using two of the designs in that paper. Like I said, so many to work with. Um, but uh, we'll just show you what I show you. So the stamp set I'm using today is the Vine Design set. Some of these cute little images in here. I did not use the dies for today's project, but it coordinates and goes. So just wanted to make sure you're aware because you always get a 10% discount when you buy um, the bundle of the dies and the set together or any bundle is 10% off basically. So something important to know. Okay. so project. So here, here's what we got. I decided to work with Rich Razzleberry for my card base and I've got a piece of the Blackberry Bliss designer series paper, one of those papers. This is probably my favorite of the patterns. Um, just super pretty. There's actually an image in the set that's that exact shape as well. And I'm going to start by taking this piece of paper. It actually measures three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And this is a super simple thing to do. I measured down from this side down three quarters of an inch and there's actually a tiny little pencil mark there. I don't know if you can see it. And then I did the same thing on this side right here. Tiny little pencil mark. Yes, these are the new patterns coming out in the new annual catalog, yes. Um, and there's a question right before. Are they the same patterns? They... Uh, I can't even read it. Are they new patterns? Well, they're new. Yeah, they're new patterns. The, it's funny how with Facebook, right? So the comment is sort of half visible once it moves up from the first one. <laughs> okay, so I got my cutter here and I'm going to look for my little pencil mark. That's the biggest challenge. And I'm going to line it up with the groove in my cutter at the top. And I know you probably can't see this, but believe me, it's there. If you use one of the lighter pieces of designer paper, it would be a little bit easier to see. Okay, where did it go? It's there somewhere. Where's that one? Oh, there we go. Okay. So there and there. I love Blackberry Bliss. You're probably saying, why didn't you pick a lighter color? It would be a whole lot easier to show on camera. <laughs> okay, so and this is approximate, right? So I measured three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. But if it's, you know, slightly different from that, it's no big deal. It's going to work either way. So I'm going to make sure I'm using my blade, which is the darker gray of the two. And I'm going to hold it down nice and firmly because, of course, it doesn't have the anchor of the top. And I've just got my two pieces there. So you guys might know where I'm going with this. It's definitely not rocket science, but it's um, cool. So now, instead of attaching them together, I'm going to attach them so they have a little space in between. That kind of look. So let's go ahead and attach them. Now today, I'm using my snail. Now I could be using this, um, this side, but today I just decided I kind of liked that sort of more neutral pattern. And on the other card that I made, which I'll show you as well, um, I used this pattern, so I'll show you that at the end. Okay, now we want it to be the same edge, top, bottom, and sides. And I'm just going to lay it down to get my spacing before I press it down. What I always like to do. So I'm actually you might have be noticing that I'm using the new seal adhesive and believe it or not, it's been out for, I don't know how long, many months. I finally learned how to use it. 
I'm patting myself on the back, proud of myself. It's a really wonderful, strong adhesive, but there is a little bit of a method to it. And I think I've actually done it and I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't malfunction and that I proved myself wrong and, and uh, that I've actually have figured it out. But it worked just perfectly for what I just did. I know lots of other demonstrators swear by it. So I figure it's about time I gave it a good try. All right, so now I've got a strip of cardstock, just plain white cardstock. Um, hi, Tina. Good to see you here. <laughs> um, and it uh, measures 7 eighths of an inch. Now I pulled this from among my scraps. I keep scraps. They're labeled by 7 eighths inch and 1 inch and a quarter inch. And I have all these different sizes because I end up with extra pieces. Um, uh, from cutting off my white cardstock. So why not keep them and use them when they're handy rather than actually having to cut, um, cut them um, custom, right? It's already cut for me if I use my scraps. So for this, I'm using three colors, my Blackberry Bliss, Mossy Meadow, and Daffodil Delight. Now, these two colors used to be in colors. They joined the regular collection of our colors some years back when Stampin' Up! did their revamp. And they're like two of my absolute favorite colors. So um, hopefully they will never go away. <laughs> never say never, right? Because sometimes it'll, you know, it might happen. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight. And where did my set go? One of the things I love about this set is I love the font of the sentiments. They're just simple and easy to use and really versatile, right? Because it's... It's just a simple kind of font. It doesn't, I don't know, it just seems to, ha to have a neutral kind of style to it. Um, and a little bit sort of, I don't know, modernish, I guess, is how I might describe it. So some of the sentiments, of course, are word on top of word. Others are nice, long, thin words. Um, for this one, I kind of liked the word on top of word option. So I'm using my Daffodil Delight. And yellow, of course, is a... What is it? Complementary color with purple. So I thought it might be nice to use that. And next I'm going to use my Blackberry Bliss with this little itty bitty star image. And I'm going to actually stamp off this color because it is a really strong dark color and um, just a little bit too dark sometimes. So actually, I'm going to wait on that one. So I'm, I'm just kind of framing my, my yellow sentiment to start with. And then there is a tiny little um, leaf image in the set, but this one is just gets more coverage more quickly. And it's a little bit more interesting because there's a lot more foliage. Um, I want to show you the other one. Yeah, so I was playing around with this one as well. But of course, you have to stamp a whole lot more because it's one small little foliage image. And this one, I can... You know, I can do it faster, which I think is fun, and I get more variety in the mix. So I'm going to do a little bit of full inking and second inking with this one. So you can see I can get that whole edge of my piece. I love the, the crispness of these images. They're so, um, you know, they're solid. They don't have texture in them, right, which is, makes it kind of fun to have them nice and solid, which also gives them that kind of, uh, what is it, modern kind of look, I guess. Now, I over here, one of the things you don't ever really want to do is use full ink and then second inking when you've been off the page. So I'm going to stamp off this time so that I don't get my odd um, mark. Don't you love that image? I just think it's so pretty. So I'm doing full inking and second inking because it just gives you that variation in the images and a little bit more depth. So I just think it, it adds some interest to it. Okay, one more of my flowers and I'm going to stamp off. Almost forgot to do that. I almost um, used the Rich Razzleberry instead, but it's got sort of more of a pinky look and the Blackberry Bliss is a little bit more purple-ish, which I'm kind of a purple girl, so now I'm just going to do 
full inking up here. And I like to vary the position of my images so that they have a different look wherever you have them. They don't look too uniform. Let's turn a leaf that way. And get another one right in there. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do on that. Okay, what's next? Okay, so did you guess that this is what I'm doing next? Isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. The crisp purple, the simple little line of images in the center. <clears throat> well, I think it's pretty anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so let's see. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put the tiniest little bit of adhesive on the back, get it into the position that I want, and then I'm going to bring in my cutter and snip off the ends. So I think I want my thank you sort of justified a little bit towards the top end of my diagonal. And getting the right placement is important because, oh yay, I'm so glad you love it. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay, so now what I'm going to do for this, it's only got a little bit of adhesive on it, so I want to make sure that it stays in place. But I'm going to just turn it over, place it so that the black edge is right at the groove line. Make sure I've got my right blade, so I want my dark blade. And looks like it's a little bit too much overlapping that groove. I don't want it to be hitting the black cardstock, just cutting off the white. So there we go with that. And then probably would be a good idea to put two little dabs of adhesive so that it doesn't pivot like this. But I'm just going to go with it for now. But if you try this, just word to the wise on that one. Okay. And then the same thing on this side. Again, making sure that my blade isn't bumping into the black and cutting it off, just snipping off the white. So there's how I got my angled piece. Not rocket science, but, you know, a method. <laughs> and next, I decided I didn't want it to be flat on there. I wanted it to kind of stand out and be a little bit more pronounced. So what I'm going to do is actually put this onto some, a foam adhesive sheet. Now, which way do I want to do it? I think I'm going to do the long way. Do a nice, you know, strip. And then I'm going to have to snip off a little bit on each end, or at least on one end. Just like that. And then I can use the one I snipped off on the other end if it's not too big. I need to cut it down just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this. Now you could put it down flat. You don't necessarily have to put it on the foam strip, but I kind of like the look. so. Hopefully you will too, when you see my finished project. Okay. There we go for that. Let's go ahead and attach it. And I think it just gives it a little bit more interest being popped up. Okay, so there we go with that. Now I have one other detail. And I might need your opinion here. <laughs> yes, and you could just trim with the scissors. That is true, Robin. No doubt. Um, I sort of like the precision-y thing of the cutter, but you would do just as well to, uh, to use the scissors, most undoubtedly. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. And I'll show you my other project, of course, in a second, but I was playing around with another element, which I used on the second. This is where I started and thought, that looks way too strong. So I don't think I'm going to do that one. And then 
there's this one, just kind of a subtle element. I'm going to put do one here and one down here is my plan. And then here's option three, the little crinkled seam binding. So anybody want to weigh in? <laughs> I know there's always this delay. So um, I know what my preference is, but just curious what you guys all think. So let's see if I can just kind of generally kill some time here for a second. See if you guys have comments. Okay, three. So Pam says three. MJ says the dark purple. So that's the dark purple. That's the dark purple, right? Option three was the white. Could you put a strip of the gold leaf? Ooh. <laughs> now there's a fancy idea. <laughs> I probably could. I might be a little bit too late. Okay, somebody likes the, bl the blackberry and the purple. Okay, I'm going to have to look at this again. Kimmy likes the seam binding. I am conflicted now. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, I only have a little bit of this ribbon. Yikes. I do like the texture of it. Let's look at it on the Blackberry Bliss. I'm sorry, on the Rich Razzleberry, because that's the card base it's going to have. And it's just a tiny little added element of interest. Okay, so there's that. Pretend there's two on either and one on each side. And then there's the white. You know, and because I have to. Two? Nah. Just covers up the whole thing. Well, no to the first and last. Yes, dark purple. Okay, everybody's saying dark purple. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. I was actually going to go with the white. But we'll do the purple because that's the majority wins. And you guys are smart. So here's what we're going to do. And I think the purple will be just a lovely subtle element on here. So I'm putting a glue dot on the end of my ribbon. And uh, so now I want, I'm going to invite you to think about who might love a project like this, both for making it and also because you might want to tag them and share this video with them. So, or somebody who you might think might want to buy the starter kit to go, ooh, <laughs> this is how you can use it. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so I know lots of you guys are demonstrators out there too, so you can use me to help promote your thing too. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> I see we pretty much have, you know, like a, a consensus here. There were a few, a few people who liked the white. Nobody who liked that silver edge, which, you know, not a big surprise. So I'm still keeping the black showing uh, just for that little dramatic edge. And again, just putting a glue dot on the end of the ribbon. And I'm, I'm really just putting it up to the edge so that I'm still leaving all the black exposed there. Okay. Okay, so we're there we've got that. So now let's attach it to our card base. Let's see if I still have my my seal skills. I feel like I'm, you know, a Navy SEAL or something using this. So the, the method that uh, the nuance that I think I got I'm so afraid to jinx it here, is that you press hard and then when you release it, you tip it up like that and, and then pull it off that way. So you're tipping it up. I know the angle's not so great. But that seems to be all that I needed to master this little baby. And so far, I seem to be doing it. Yay! I'm so happy. Okay. So there's my card base. Make sure to put it right side up. That's always helpful. And I'm just going to attach that to the front. I've got one small little detail to add to this. And that is some bling. Because why not? So I'm going to take a few of my little smallest rhinestones and put them in the center of each of my three little flowers. Got to have a little bling. 
Rhinestones are just like you can't go wrong. And I probably could have done some Winkostella on some of the images as well. Add a little bit more shine. Doesn't that just finish it off so, so pretty? I think it's so pretty. So um, I'm glad you like it, Laura Lee. Makes you want to sign up again. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So Robin, you'll just have to, well, either get it, well, you, you could have gotten it on the pre-order as a demonstrator, but you, uh, you'll just have to get it when it's available in the annual catalog. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other version that I did, and then we'll finish up with my little uh, surprise that I wanted to share. So this was my original one um, with my Bermuda Bay and the Daffodil Delight, same color I used here, actually, and the real red. So I just replaced out the colors, the designer paper, I used a different ribbon. So this is actually Coastal Cabana ribbon, which goes really well with the Bermuda Bay. Um, and you agree, you agree, you'd add, you'd like the bling. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. So can you just visualize that with all of those amazing papers that you could do a new variation for each designer paper? Your, you know, the tone on tone works really well with the black um, and the card base. And of course, this is the rich razzleberry with the black rubless, which is a beautiful tone on tone kind of um, two colors that go really well together. This could have been, you know, maybe Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay, but I used the same color for those. So anyway, lots of possibilities. Um, I did have a fantasy that I would do one in like more than just two variations, but you know, there's only so many hours in the day. <laughs> All right, so those are my finished cards. So now I actually have one other quick thing to show you. Do I have time? I think maybe just a quick thing. Okay, I always want to show you so much. So when I was playing around, I, I thought I really wanted to show some things with designer paper. So I found this way that you guys have probably seen, who knows, how to make a quick box with designer paper. So um, this is the basic. So I have a six by six piece. This is actually Poppy Parade. And this, I'm, I'm creating the bottom of it. I've already done my folding just to make sure that um, I remember what I'm doing. So you're just going to fold it in thirds like this, open it up, fold it in thirds the other way. You can see I've already done it. And, you know, burnish on your, on your edges, right? And then, um, now I, there's folds right here and here, but all you really do is you sort of fold it in. So you're going to have to make that fold when you just push the paper together, okay? So they cross over one another. That's how it works. So you might, when I was doing it, I had to watch and look more than once to make sure I had that right. So it folds over like that. And of course I would have adhesive on there. And then there's the bottom of my box. Super simple, right? Super, super simple. Obviously those would be attached so it's all finished and pretty looking. And then here's how to make the top. This is a lot more folding. So get ready, hold on to your hats. <laughs> so for this one, you're actually folding it in half one way, in half the other. Um, and let's see what else. Um, oh, you liked the Blackberry, Kimmy. That's wonderful. And, and yes, it's a great card for when you have to do a lot. Good, uh, good suggestions and ideas, you two. Okay, so, so now I've done that part. Now um, you have the folds on there. Then you're just going to take the end points and fold them to the center like that. And all of these fold lines are going to be important um, in order to make the top of the box. Okay, and then you're going to fold that into the center and the other side into the center. Okay, so those are all your folds. Um, and uh, like I said, if you do want to make this, you're likely going to have to go back and watch again because that's what I had to do. So now you fold in two of the sides and this is how the box top comes together. So again, this fold right here, the one that's folding it at an angle right there, is the new fold that you're just going to push the paper together to create. And I've, of course, um, already done that. That's probably the hardest part is just finding where that fold is. But it comes to the center like that. Okay. And then here's where the magic is. I just fold that up and then in. Okay. So there's most of it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. It just folds right in. Voila. Okay, and pretend this had adhesive on it. 
and the top just fits on the bottom. Isn't that cute? Cute and pretty simple. If you want to spend a few minutes, um, you know, looking at the folds and all that. Uh, so nice little thing for a treat. And of course it's, you know, a monochromatic, so you might want to do a pretty tag or wrap it with a ribbon or something of that sort. So there's my other little project I wanted to share. I hope you guys liked that. Um, comment if you think you might try making that box. Just curious. <laughs> I think anything that doesn't require adhesive, you know, really, to do, like this really doesn't, you could actually just let it sort of explode when you open it, um, and that uses just designer paper in a simple way is just very fun. Fun and easy. All right. That's it for projects. I'm going to face the camera to me, finish up, show you my little sneak peek um, that I wanted to show you, and let you go on with your merry way for the evening. Okay. Okay. So, last, what I wanted to share. Okay, so um, I haven't lately been talking about sort of the um, building blocks of my design, but I kind of talked about it along the way, right? Because the key element on the original card that I uh, cased had this here, right? This diagonal with the square piece cut in two. That's what I started with. I do, did my own colors, my own designer paper, my own stamping. And then I added the element of the ribbon because I felt like it just needed to give it a little bit more something. And then of course the rhinestones and chose my own stamping and all that sort of thing. So um, pretty easy design. And then of course, you know, once you've done one, doing the next one is a piece of cake, right? And you guys all helped me with this one. So thank you very much. <laughs> It's always fun to design in collaboration. Oh, so Linda, you would make the box. Oh, good. <laughs> and a, a nice place setting or, yeah, like a little gift at dinner. That's, I like that. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, so that was my, my whole little design process. Very easy, um, easy to duplicate. And right, hopefully you're inspired to do that with whatever you have on hand. Or you'll join and you use the same paper I used. <laughs> Always an alternative. Okay, so what else? Okay, so thank you guys so much for sharing and tagging. Don't forget you can do it again if you haven't or do it the first time. Or if you thought of somebody else that you might want to tag, feel free to do that. Um, I will, um, uh, let's see, I will give you entries for each person you tag. And of course you can only share once, but you can get multiple entries for um, my free um, online live class on the 26th. Yay, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm super excited. Um, so let's see. Don't forget to take advantage of celebration if you haven't already, if there's anything you still want, whether it's for the hostess stamp set or freebies that you get with orders, or of course um, the starter kit special. So, um, and then if you also missed out on my Technique Class subscription or signing up for club, do it before you go to bed tonight. <laughs> I will see it and I'll be like, yay, another reservation. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'm so appreciative of your support. Um, so yeah, I'll be watching. Watching with bated breath. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, not really, actually. <laughs> I will be, but whatever. Aside, aside from that. Okay, so the thing I wanted to show you, sneak peek. Okay, first of all, let me ask, did you guys all see my blog post from yesterday? I posted a project that is actually a sneak peek of the technique class. So um, I was playing this weekend with some of the technique class ideas and projects and whatnot. And sometimes when I get started, I can't, I can't stop. And my husband saw what I was working on and he really loved it. So um, the thing I showed him, I actually ruined. I learned something in the process, which I will teach in the class because that's what I do in the class. I show you all the things I did wrong and the things I did right and what I learned so you don't do the same things. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, if you looked at my blog post, Christy, I know you did. We talked about it. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the card that, that I shared yesterday, and it is really quite stunning, if I might say so myself. So that is the card, and if you want um, to see some other photos and angles of it, that's done with the technique that I'm going to teach at the 26th class. So it has, says forever and always at the bottom, because of course it was for Valentine's Day for my sweetie. So there's that. And then the other little sneak peek I wanted to show um, normally when I do my technique classes, I have, um, 
I have a PDF that goes into great detail about the techniques, steps, photos, and all that stuff. But we also do a um, quick, what I call a quick reference technique page. So it's, you know, you're in a hurry, you want a little reminder of how to do the technique. And so we create this page and it goes into my technique book. This is six by, a six by eight album. And so the pages are six by eight, but um, this is how I keep my techniques. So I have a bunch of them in there and I'm gonna show you, I actually made two technique page, quick reference technique pages because I was playing with the samples and this is not the one that people who take the class are going to make because I will send kits and it will be a different color scheme. But um, I will show how to do this color scheme because it is quite beautiful. It's the one that my, uh, I just showed you for my husband. So this is um, actually five and a half by eight and a half. And you can see I've done individual panels for the technique in different ways on different papers. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. That's the secret. <laughs> you gotta play the class. You gotta come if you wanna see it. But I'm gonna do a quick, um, close up so you can see. It's actually a little bit hard to do the technique on a tiny little piece like this, but it's really quite stunning. And if you like texture and organic shapes, this is just, ah, it sends me over the top. I absolutely love it. So I've made two quick reference technique pages. The technique description is up here, just quick steps. And when I do the PDF, of course, I go into a lot more detail with all the tips and, and the backstory. So those are the benefits of um, doing the PDFs or the more you know robust class that includes the other pieces. So anyway, I hope you liked my sneak peek. I don't usually show that um, for, for the classes, but um, you know, things change. I thought it would be fun to show you. And you know, maybe it'll inspire some of you guys to sign up because it's just super fun. So I live for techniques. You, you know me, you know that. I want to keep doing it. I want to be able to keep doing the classes. And honestly, I need more people to sign up. <laughs> in order to keep it going. So um, consider it and I hope you loved it whether you do or not. And I'm so grateful that you're here um, watching and being with me and uh, it wouldn't be nearly as fun if you weren't here. So, I mean, that it would be boring. It would be horrible if you weren't here. So thank you all so much for being here. So um, again, whether you're on the live or the replay, share, tag your friends, come back next week, same time, same channel. Next Thursday, it will be the, let's see, what is today? Uh, it'll be the 24th. Yeah, it'll be Wednesday the 24th will be my next Facebook Live. No, the 25th because that's Thursday, right? The, the day before the class. So that will be my next Facebook Live is next Thursday the 25th. And um, I hope you'll come back and join me. And maybe I'll see you on the next day at the class too. So thank you so much for watching. Yay, I'm so glad you love the cards, Melissa. Yay, my namesake. <laughs> it's always so fun to have somebody who has my same name. Um, you're very welcome, Pam. Thank you so much for joining in. And I will have a great weekend. I know I will. You're welcome, Laura Lee. Just hang out just a sec. You're welcome, Sue. So glad you were here. I don't think I shouted out to you because I think your name flashed by when I was not paying attention. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it tonight. All right, everybody. Um, enjoy your evening and I will see you soon. Bye.